Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I already have a lot of weird makeup on, but it's because I am in the process of doing a look, and I'm going to be incorporating some spiders into my look, which is something that I like to do a lot. Not a lot, I've done it twice, but it's something that I find really fun. So, I decided, as a part of this whole, like, teaching channel, to show you how to paint realistic spiders. I kind of wanted to show it more in depth and show you how you, yourself, can paint realistic spiders like I will be doing today. So I think I want to do three spiders. And I think I want to do one like on the cheek here and then I'm going to do one like in my chest area. Maybe I'll only do two today, but I think that's where I want to go with this because I kind of want one side of my face to be like the pretty side and then the other one to have like this kind of weird skull and spiders. So let's go ahead and get started and I guess I will do the chest one first. Okay so I've moved you down and the first thing I like to do is to take a brush that kind of looks like that and I've loaded it up with the Mayron Paradise Paint in black to draw kind of like an oval. like that and just go ahead and fill it in and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw the head so I'm going to put that over on which side do I want it I guess we'll do this side and you just want it to be kind of like that next I'm going to take a smaller brush which looks something like that and again put some black paint on it we're going to go ahead and work on the legs. So I like to keep the legs of the spiders in this like general area on both sides. I feel like it makes it more realistic. And so the legs have joints to them and so that's exactly what we're going to draw is like one joint at a time. So the first leg I'm going to do right around here. And I'm just going to draw it straight out. And to make it kind of that 3D effect we're going to draw it at like an angle right there and then draw it down. And what you're going to want to do is make this part like a little bit thicker and kind of create almost like a notch where the joint is. And then make this thinner and then create like a little baby notch right there. And then this gets even thinner and kind of like drag it out so it points. The next leg I'm going to focus on making a kind of thicker first joint part of the leg and then making it thinner and kind of underneath that one. So that's what that looks like right now. Next leg I'm going to go ahead and move, I'm going to move it kind of further up, so in this area, and I'm just going to draw it straight out and make sure that it kind of flicks so that it's really pointed at the end. And the final leg of this side, I'm going to draw forward. And then I'm going to draw like a little baby joint and then one like that. So that's what it looks like. It looks awful right now, but we will continue on. Worst case, if you feel like the base was too big, which I kind of feel like I did, I'm going to go ahead and fix it and make this end a little bit smaller. But I'm going to do the second group of legs first and then we'll kind of see how much we need to take away. So that's what we're working with. Again, it kind of looks like a cockroach right now, so I'm going to go ahead and take a Q-tip with just a little bit of remover and fix this end and make it just a little bit smaller. So that's what we're working with right now. I'm going to go ahead and add the shadow next. 
the shadow under the legs and the spider itself is what makes it look more realistic and definitely takes it to the next level. So what I like to take is this gray shade right here, the one that has obviously been well loved and used, is my favorite to shade with. I have no idea what this is from or where I can get it, which is kind of sad because once it's over, it's over. But this is what I'm going to be using to shade the spider. I've got a little eyeliner brush and that's what I'm going to be using and I'm just going to go ahead and dip into that gray shade. First I'm going to out start from about halfway of the butt of it and draw a circle about that big. So from the middle of the spider to the middle of the butt of the spider. And then you're going to go ahead and fill that. And what I do with this specific shade is I like to take my finger and use that to kind of pat over it. This is what I love about this shade in specific is it's so easy to mess around with. The next thing I'm going to do is take a brush, like a little shader brush like that, with some black, just a little bit on it. And I'm going to go ahead and shade very, very close to it with the black so that way it's darker towards the spider and kind of fades out but I don't want it as black as the spider. <laughs> so I'm gonna use that same gray shade and at the very end of each leg, I'm gonna draw a line to the spider. So right here. So this way you're gonna draw it forward. actually going to do it from the shadow of the butt of it to the leg. And again to the spider. So that's what kind of makes it look like it's standing up on your skin. Because the top of this look is very orange and black based, I want to go ahead and add some orange to the spider. So I'm going to go ahead and take this Foil Play Cream Shadow from NYX. It is in the shade Baroque and it is like a coppery orange. And I'm going to take that on my finger and just place that on the like butt of the spider. So that way it kind of adds like something different to it. I've messed around with purple and red before on the spider looks. The next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is highlight the legs and the actual spider itself. So I've got my favorite product to ever exist which is the Ben Nye character base in skeleton white and I have a little tiny brush. This came in the Maybelline gel eyeliner kits, but I don't use those or I don't have any, but I kept the brushes because they're great. And I'm just going to load up the very tip of the brush. And what I want to do is I want to highlight the tops of all of the like joint parts of the legs, but not all the way, just like little lines. So something like that. And then a little bit on this one do that for all of them. I also want to go ahead and highlight the spider itself, so I'm going to take like three little dots right there, and again, and then on the head. What you want to do with the head when you highlight it is you want to kind of draw a tiny little half circle because it's going to make the shape of the head look like it's circular. So I wanted kind of like a little moon right here. So that way it makes people think that the head is kind of leaned back if that makes sense. And I'm going to draw it here. Again, making the body seem like it's almost 3D. So that's what that looks like right now. What I want to go ahead and fix is 
darken up right here because we've lost the color of the black. So I'll go ahead and fix that real quick. Kind of sharpen the edges of the spider itself because we've kind of lost it in this whole shadow creating right here. And you want your spider to be sharp. I feel like something's missing in this general area of my body so I'm gonna go ahead and do the third one and then we'll be back to go over everything a little bit so I went ahead and added the third one it's kind of living its own little life right here doing its thing but that's kind of the fun part about it is each and every single one of them are a little bit different and they're fun to create and to be honest they don't always look the best until you add the shading underneath them. For some reason, that brings them to life. It makes them look like they're rising on top of you, and it's truly what I think takes it to a point where it makes it look more realistic. They do take a lot of practice, especially with getting the legs right, hence this one, but it's something that's fun to practice. It's fun to add that kind of creepy effect to each and every single one of your looks. And I hope that this video helped you in any way. I hope it showed you how to create a spider. I hope that you found ways to kind of change maybe how you're doing it or to give you some tips and tricks on how to create those. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel for videos every single week, probably twice to three times a week. And each video will hopefully teach you something new. And we're going to go ahead and learn together. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.